वन एंड वेलकम टू ड्रेस बैक अगेन आई होप यू गाइस आर डूइंग वेल सो गाइस टुडे आई हैव विद मी द ब्रांड न्यू 2022 Toyota Camry Hybrid एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू गाइस अ डिटेल वॉक अराउंड ऑफ दिस कार सो लेट्स क्विकली स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो बाय द वे आई हैव ऑलरेडी रिव्यूड द प्री फेसलिफ्ट मॉडल सो यू कैन चेक आउट दैट वीडियो आई हैव आल्सो रिव्यूड द Toyota Camry Mercedes Benz A Class BMW 2 Series Land Rover Defender ऑल दोस वीडियोस यू कैन बेसिकली चेक आउट आई विल श्योरली गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स डाउन बिलो एंड व्हिच नेक्स्ट कार वुड यू लाइक टू सी ऑन द चैनल यू कैन डेफिनेटली लेट मी नो यू कैन मैसेज मी ऑन Instagram यू कैन ऑल्सो so write down in the comment section now let's really start off this video without wasting any more time starting off uh, with the walk around let's starting off with the front profile so here as you can see this is how the car actually looks like in terms of the design here you basically have a simple nice elegant looking uh, luxury sedan talking about the front profile here as you can see here you have this big uh, grill sort of a design right here at the front or maybe a grill and here you basically have the toyota logo with blue tint here you have some chrome used talking about the headlights now here you have a, a complete led setup so here you basically have uh, your led dr this is your led projector unit this is basically your indicator here you have chrome used you have front parking sensors front fog light as well so that is much about the front profile of the car by the way the car is available in a total of seven color options and the toyota has actually tried to give it a bit of a sharp edges here and there so here as you can see in order to add a bit more aerodynamics to the car and this is how the car looks like from side profile let me quickly give you guys uh, let me show you guys how it looks from the side so here as you can see uh, it is a pretty long car it is almost 5 meters in terms of the length 4885 mm to be precise and here you obviously have chrome used on your windows here you have chrome door handles you obviously have your indicator here and here you have this hybrid badge let me show you guys the key of the car so here as you can see this is how the key of the car looks like simple normal key from here you can basically lock the car so as soon as you press this the car is locked right now so here as you can see it is locked now let me show you how the passive entry system works so you just need to carry your key and as soon as you put your hand inside it uh, the car is going to unlock like this i'll show you guys the interior in detail but before that i'll have to complete my walk around and here you have this camry scuff plate as well so guys that's much about the side profile now let me quickly show you guys the rear profile of the car so here as you can see this is how the rear profile of the car looks like again a simple normal uh, design has been carried out at the rear as well here you have the toyota logo camry badge talking about the tail lights you obviously have a uh, led setup right here here you have hybrid badge and let me show you guys the boot space so here you have a button you need to press it and this is the amount of space which you have in the boot of the toyota camry here you have some space here you have some space this is your emergency triangle kept and you know this you have your spare wheel and your tool kit mounted uh by the way toyota has not really revealed the exact boot space in terms of liters otherwise i would have uh, mentioned it here uh toyota should have actually mentioned it in the brochure but it's not written unfortunately and yeah that's much about the exterior of the car you obviously do not really get any uh, wiper here you do get this uh, defogger let me show you guys the tire profile and then we'll move inside the car and i'll talk about the features as well so here as you can see the tire profile which you get right here is 235 45r 18 and this is how the alloy wheel actually looks like again they have actually tried to give it a bit more aerodynamic and adventurous sort of a stylish look now let's get inside the car and let me show you guys the interior let's talk about the interior let's talk about the then we'll talk about the space and then we'll talk about uh, the engine as well so here i am inside the toyota camry let me adjust the seat so that i can show you guys the dashboard and the features in a much better way okay so guys here as you can see this is how the dashboard and the interior of the toyota camry hybrid looks like compared to the pre facelift model there are few subtle changes at the on the exterior as well as in the interior earlier you you, you do, do not used to get uh, this floating sort of a touch screen so you can basically check out my earlier video as well so this is how the dashboard actually looks like here you have this y design on the dashboard which looks quite nice and talking about the materials here as you can see there is wooden sort of a tre treatment here here you have this silver thing going on here you have this gloss uh, black treatment 
the material here used is a soft touch material which again feels nice here you again have this leather sort of a treatment provided with stitching and let me show you guys the glove box so this is the amount of space which you have now the glove box i i think someone has messed up with the glove box so here as you can see it is not closing properly any which way so that's much about the quality and the interior of the car now let's start the car and obviously here here as you can see here you obviously have hard plastic used here you have your uh, armrest below this you have your space and uh, toll receipts as well now let's start the car here you have this push start stop button as soon as you press it this is how the car welcomes you there you see it says camry right there and by the way it also gets an heads up display here as you can see here it shows you your speed your uh, driving mode and your temperature and your compass as well here you have this uh nine inch touch screen which they have provided right here and uh, let me show you guys how to get it into reverse by the way let's get into reverse so here as you can see it shows you r right here and will show you your speed as well and this is how the reverse spying camera of the car looks like here you have a few modes provided and here you also do get reverse guidelines by the way here you do get reverse guidelines as well and this beep sound actually becomes a little bit irritating at some times so guys now let's talk about the steering wheel here you have this leather wrapped steering wheel which feels pretty nice to hold here you have a few buttons provided from here you can basically toggle through the instrument cluster here you have a seven inch instrument cluster which shows you a lot of details right here here you have your speedometer here you have your eco and uh, power thing going on here you have your seven inch instrument cluster let me show you guys uh the what all things it shows you by the way so here it shows you your compass here it shows you your bluetooth audio here it shows you energy monitor here it shows you settings so here from here you can basically uh, switch on and switch off your parking sensors from here you can switch off your heads up display here you have your rear sunshade so basically you can put on and put off the rear sunshade like this and here you have your settings here you have vehicle settings and that is much about it energy monitor this is a hybrid car so it basically tells you when it's uh, powering the car from battery right now it's powering the car from battery uh your uh, your petrol engine hasn't really come into play here you have your bluetooth audio here you have your digital speed eco guidance fuel economy and yeah that's much about it talking about the touch screen the quality of the touch screen could have been better and these buttons could have been should have been eliminated here you have your settings let's get into vehicle here it shows you vehicle customization so here you can basically change door lock setting climate setting light setting convenience and other vehicle settings once you get into uh once you basically start the convenience setting you won't be able to use the settings these setting features some of the setting features uh while you are on the move and uh, let me show you guys the navigation so this is how the navigation here looks like here you have this from you can zoom in and zoom out here you have a few uh things as well and yeah, that's much about it here you have three zone automatic climate control ac air filter as well uh here you have your charging pad wireless charging pad if your phone supports wireless charging you can basically charge your phone here you can place your wallet and uh, here you have 12 volt charging port below this you have your usb port and like i showed you the gear stick here you have three uh modes from here you can basically select from eco mode normal sport mode eco mode whole button is provided and here you have your electronic parking brake ventilated seats which basically blows air on your ass as well as on your back so that you remain cool here you have your cup holders provided as well and let me show you guys the sunroof here you have your uh irvm provided and here you from you can open the sunroof as well let me show you guys let me open it and show you guys so here as soon as you press it you can open it like this so that's the maximum it opens up and uh, putting it back you just need to press it and hold it and that's how it goes back you'll have to manually obviously put this sunshade 
back so guys i think i've covered most of the things about the interior of the car here you have your uh sun visor with a vanity mirror with a light and here you again have a sun visor vanity mirror and light so yeah that's much about it from you can adjust the steering wheel as well it is adjustable for telescopic as well as tilt so you can adjust it like this here you have your buttons for power windows from here you can basically here you have uh, electrically adjustable seats here you have your uh, your uh, this thing as well memory function as well so if you have uh, a six feet tall person five six at your place and if both of them are driving you can set their driver's seat as per their comfortable driving position here you have you can accommodate a one liter bottle and yeah that's much about it here you have button for your traction control system here you have some space from where you can open the fuel lid from where you can open the boot of the car so guys i think i've covered most of the things now it's time to get in the second row of the car and let me show you guys the amount of space which you have so let me uh, put the seat to my comfortable driving position for your reference my height is somewhere around uh, 5657 five, now let me quickly get in the second row of the car and let me show you guys the space So guys, now I am inside the car and here as you can see, this is the amount of space which you have. It is, the space is in abundance. There is uh, no complaints in terms of the space which I can make. So here you have this magazine holder. Here as you can see, you can basically stretch your foot below the driver as well as co-driver side. And the, the knee room is great. The under the support is decent. The headroom is also kind of decent. And here you have this uh, sun blind as well on obviously both the sides and this is the amount of space which you have now here you do get a hump but uh, the hump is kind of wide so middle passenger can accommodate their feet right there talking about the shoulder room you can easily get three adults at the rear here you have your uh, three adjustable headrest as well here you have your armrest with two cup holders and from here you can basically or switch on and switch off the screen as well i'll show you guys that as well let me get in the middle seat so here as you can see this is the amount of space which you have right here middle passenger can accommodate their feet here and they can enjoy the view out there now uh, let me show you guys the main feature of the toyota camry which is the boss mode you must have seen here you basically have a button provided from here you can increase the leg room and you can also adjust the recline angle of the seat like this so this is the maximum which it goes ahead and here as you can see the space which i have is in abundance here you can sit like a boss you can sit comfortably and you can enjoy the uh, enjoy your trip if most of the people who buy this are obviously uh, chauffeur driven people and this is the amount of space and this is how the interior of the car actually looks like i showed you guys the shoulder room as well let me show you guys uh, one more feature of the car so here you basically have cup holders and here you can basically switch on this thing and here as you can see from here you can basically change tracks from here you can basically increase and decrease the volume here from here you can here you have this power mode from here you can basically change the temperature as well and here from here you can also adjust the recline angle of both the seats so here as you can see from here you can basically adjust the recline angle like this and let's put it back there you see that is how you can adjust the recline angle as well and from here you can basically uh, access the boot of the car so guys yeah that's uh, much about the second row space now it's time to uh, get outside and let me show you guys uh, by the way obviously you have handle and a hook here handle there handle there on the driver side as well and a handle and a hook right here and you do get ac vents right here and charging ports as well two of them so guys now it's time to basically have a look at the engine and then i'll talk about the pricing as well so let's quickly move outside so guys now let me switch off the car and let me show you guys let's talk about the engine so here let me switch it off first okay and there you see the steering moves back to its 
normal position and yeah here you obviously have this uh, from here you can basically here you have 10 way adjustable seat from here you can adjust the lumbar support from here you can basically put the seat up and down like this and from here you can open the engine bay of the car and uh, So guys, this is your 2.5 liter petrol engine combined with the electric motor. It produces 218 PS of power. And here you basically have your hydraulic struts. Here you have your insulation material provided as well. And this is how the engine of the Toyota Camry hybrid looks like. It is refined. It is quite a powerful motor. It uh, takes the car from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 7.7 .7 seconds. 7, uh, 7.125. I'll provide the uh, number right here. And uh, let me put it down back. So guys, I think I have covered most of the things about the car. Like I told you, it is a very comfortable car. The handling is uh, has got a bit better compared to the pre uh model. And uh, talking about the features, it misses out on the CCD parking camera. ADS features would have been a nicer touch for sure. And talking about the braking the brakes are also quite good in terms of safety features the car gets nine uh, airbags ebs ebd uh, and all those features are definitely there talking about the pricing now uh, the actual price is 44 lakh 35 thousand rupees on road it might cost you somewhere around 53 lakh rupees at this price point if you are looking for a luxury sedan which has a lot of space which is which has a powerful engine which has a refined engine a lot of comfort then this is the car to go with the right qualities of obviously on the softer side so it provides you utmost comfort over bad roads as well so guys i hope you guys liked this walk around i'll see you guys in the next one you can check out more such videos on youtube and autorev's youtube and instagram i'll see you guys in the next one until then drive safe ride safe bye bye